So maca is an adaptogenic plant, which means it brings balance back to our body and our nervous system. But how does it actually work? Well, to understand this, we need to look at how it's traditionally prepared and consumed. The Incan people always said that fresh maca is not medicinal. It needs to sit under the sun and dry for three months, and then you boil this, this dry root in order to extract the medicine. So the medicine is made during the drying process. When we look at this biochemically, we can now understand this process. So as the root dehydrates over three months, we start to form these novel bioactive chemicals and they've been called macamides, named after the plant. So this dry root is packed with macamides and these macamides are novel, they're only found in maca. Turns out that macamides are what we call FAAH inhibitors. So this is a big word, but basically what it means is that they work in our endocannabinoid system. So yes, that is the same system in the brain as cannabis. In fact, that system was named after cannabis. Maca and cannabis work in a very similar way in our brain. What the macamides do is they inhibit the breakdown of natural cannabinoids. So FAAH inhibitors inhibit an enzyme called FAAH that breaks down our natural anandamide in our brain. So anandamide is one of our key endocannabinoids. To understand this, we need to look at our neuron in the brain and see how the cannabinoid system works. So on one side of the neuron, we have our serotonin flowing across the synapse. As it hits that neuron, um, the, we have a feedback molecule being produced. And the main feedback molecule in our brain is called anandamide, which is a natural can endocannabinoid. Anandamide comes back and it binds the cannabinoid receptor and it tells that original neuron how that message is being received by the body. So this is the adaptogenic part of the system of the brain. If we're producing too much, we can reduce the amount. If we're producing not enough, then we can increase the amount. So it, the endocannabinoid system has an ability to regulate the way the brain can respond to stresses, whether it's physical, emotional, chemical, or environmental. And this is really important because it can help our body deal with stress. It can change the way our hypothalamus, pituitary, and adrenal axis speak to each other. And through regulating this HPA axis, we can bring balance back to the body. So it's very good for regulating hormones, for mental health, adrenal function, thyroid function, for chronic stress and chronic inflammation.